that there will come a time when black people wake up and become intellectually independent enough to think for themselves as other humans are intellectually independent enough to think for themselves then the black man will think like a black man and he will feel for other black people and this new thinking and feeling will cause black people to stick together and then at that point you'll have a situation where when you attack one black man you are attacking all black men straight to the point, straight to the streets. And we are here at the Raw and Cozy Cultural and Wellness Pop-Up. Y'all know how we do popping up in the city. Today we are talking about all the T's and today's word is what? Unity. What comes to mind when you hear the word unity? Uh, Queen Latifah. You and I T Y. You and I T Y, that's a unity. When I think unity, I just think like togetherness. I think like low-key unity, there's a type of intimacy in it. I don't know, like, it's it's like a connection thing. Um, and you can be connected in so many different webs, too. When I think of unity, I think of a collaborated energy. So like one body, one, you know, one band, one sound. I just watched Drumline, so that's fresh in my mind. <laughs> when I think of unity, I think of like being one, even if people aren't the same as you or don't look like you, um, you're all one and the same that we're all he being human. There's no. <laughs> There's none with our uh, black folks. You know, you go in the Spanish community, they all jail together. Mm -hmm. You got about 10 of them living in one bedroom apartment. They help each other. Next thing you know, this one got a house, that one got a house. Everybody winds up with a house. Black folks, no, you're going to kick you out the house and say, no, we ain't got no room for you. We don't help each other. We look at each other and just be angry with each other. You know, you got some black folks, they reach out and try to help the community. You know, you got other ones that could help and just don't. You know, that greed sits in and we just think about ourselves. Do you feel like there's a stigma of the DMV being unified? Uh, I don't think it's a stigma, I think it's a real thing, but I mean, if you work hard at your craft, I feel like unity will come with the people that want to work with you. Uh, I feel like everybody don't need to work with everybody because it's impossible to happen and just the way the world works, uh, personalities don't match. Right. Everyone isn't meant to work with everybody. That's why there's competition. So it's not just this area. You know, you talking about DC, VA, you know, Maryland. It's it's you know it's us as a community. Of course, it's a case by case basis. Basis based on you know everybody's different experience. But my experience, the area is very unified. Honestly, so far, my experience has been has been a lot more unity here. Um, even though I come from like a pretty like diverse area, New Jersey is still very much segregated. So like outside of like Camden and like some of the other like specific like main cities, you're going to run into like some racist white towns. And that was honestly my experience. And even sometimes like traveling over to Philly too, especially with all the gentrification. So being able to come down here with like a very like diverse diaspora of black folks mm -hmm. and uh, just general like POC has been like super like beneficial, not only for me, but just like just my love for the area too. So I don't know, I've been having a better experience here so far. Being from Texas, there's that Southern hospitality. So I think that's the unity that I miss, but like coming up here and being in DC and being on the North, it's like, it's a different type of interaction. I don't feel like it's like a test to get to that unity, but people aren't as accepting. I think that's the difference. But it's like, once you're in, everybody's like, oh yeah, like we bang with you. But I think in Texas it's like, it's open arms off rip. So I think that's the difference. So I do miss Texas for that aspect, but I also think too, it's not just to be like, oh, I like the challenge, but it's also like, you know, I think it teaches you boundaries and like not everyone should have that, you know, connection in a way, so. What do you feel prevents people from working together? Um, lack of communication, um, lack of understanding. A lot of times we get like stuck in our own head, like there's a lot of main character syndrome going on where it's like, oh, we're going through stuff, we have our days when we wake up and we not feeling, we don't feel like interacting with humans. But we don't understand that other people wake up like that too, you know what I mean? And we take a lot of a lot of responses and a lot of things so personal to us when things happen when and in reality it has nothing to do with us. As an artist, you know, like you see a lot of things in the industry when it comes to this like collaboration in general. 
Now you have people that's open-minded, and then you have some people that's closed-minded. And I feel like sometimes we don't invest, like we're not confident in our own self enough to like say, hey, you're dope, and I can still be dope in the same breath. So I think some of it's internal, and then some of it is just like tradition in terms of like things that's been passed on and normalized. So I think it's a combination of the two, and I think it's just going to take us as a new generation, as a new people trying to collaborate, and artists, entrepreneurship, whatever that is, kind of just say, hey, you're cool people, I'm cool people, let's make something dope, and just, you know, bring everything together for real. I feel like some people feel like they deserve to work with certain people when they don't, and it's hard to realize that when you, and you're deep down in your heart, you feel like you're at a certain level that you're not, and you feel like you're next to people that you aren't. And that's where this animosity could come from. Um, and people, like I said, they just won't understand it until somebody close to them tells them that, look, you ain't there yet. You're not there to be working with this person. Maybe you need to work a little bit harder with that person starting to call you. That's how I like to work. I work on myself. I don't really, I'm not here to impress nobody else. If I want to get somewhere, I'm going to get there by working myself. Like, I'm not here to ask for nothing. I'm here to take everything I want. In today's society, especially in America, especially with social media and everything, capitalism is very pushed. And capitalism is what drives people to want to be number one and be at the top. So it's like it's harder to get unity in that aspect because everybody is kind of doing their own thing. And I understand that. Um, but I feel like, you know, whatever you do, you're going to need a network in order to get to the top. So it's like you got to have some type of community around you. Just through my experience working with like a younger generation, socialization has like really taken a hit because of the pandemic so that's one of the main things i'm seeing that's like a challenge with like working with others is literally just like just talking to people like even just like how y'all stopped us to like you know have uh this like interview and th different things like that like a lot of folks don't really do that especially on the younger age yeah. so hopefully we can see some changes in the future was there a time like in school that you had to like bring people together to create that unity um, one specific time I would say was my sophomore year of high school where they threatened to take away our arts programs during the school year. DCPS threatened to take it away and our whole school went in front of the DCPS building and we led a protest. Me and my best friend, his name is Destin, we performed the piece called um, That One Thing, which basically just exemplifies how Duke Ellington has so many different disciplines that all correlate together and just come together and we become one big thing. So like we talked about mama sauce and chicken wings. Um, we talked about how when you're writing a poem, you can hear on the third floor instrument, um, instrumental doing their instruments, rehearsing and all of that, how it all comes together. So that's one time our whole school was unified because we were all in front of the DPS building and we maintained our arts now as I go into my senior year. So, yeah, that was great. Do you feel that you have a responsibility to unify your community? I personally do. Yeah, no. Do I think it's my job necessarily? No, not purposely, but naturally, yes. Like as a human, like you're gonna make friends, you're gonna network, you're gonna meet new people, even like me in sports. Like I didn't imagine sports would take me half the places meet or me meet half the people I knew, but um, naturally I think that just comes with the territory of just being a human. My responsibility is to make sure Brian Bailey is the best artist that he can be. If other people wanna come along and enjoy the journey and add to the efforts, then that's perfect. But I could flip the switch and not care about anything. Yeah. Or I could flip the switch and put on the put on the group show and bring everybody together. But my responsibility is to make sure Brian Bailey is the best artist the DMV or the DC has ever seen. I feel like it's our role to kind of pave the way because somebody paid the way for me to a certain extent. I think the responsibility is just trying to set an example. Once you know better, just trying to set the example of just being better. I don't really feel like no personal responsibility, you know, just be you, do your thing, and if it naturally comes to you, it comes to you. I think it's important for us to unify. I don't think any of us are all different. We have our all same lives, we have our same troubles, and I feel like if we come together, we can help each other and make this world a better place. Um, it's easier said than done, but I do try to just be accepting and just treat everybody the same, the janitor like the CEO.
Y'all gotta buy the ticket to get our actual. Okay. <laughs>